Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five of the most common hair care myths that I hear repeated over and over again. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Andrea. I'm a board certified dermatologist and I upload skincare or hair care related videos every day at noon Eastern Standard Time. If that sounds of interest to you, make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up. It really helps my videos out a lot. I'm willing to bet that at some point in your life, someone has told you that shampooing your hair every day is bad for your hair. Absolutely false. In fact, the more often you can shampoo the scalp, the better for the health of your hair and for the health of your scalp. Now, of course, not all hair types tolerate daily shampooing. Some hair types are more prone to dryness, brittleness, and breakage with frequent shampooing. So adjust the frequency to what your hair type will tolerate. Personally, I shampoo my scalp every single day. Emphasis on scalp. The act of shampooing is really meant to cleanse the scalp of that oily buildup that can generate a lot of inflammation and is a hospitable environment for that little yeast malassezia to kind of take over. And that little yeast, which if you're not familiar, is part of everybody's skin flora, that little yeast, if it gets too comfortable, can lead to a lot of inflammation. That's what causes dandruff and can contribute to hair loss. So depending on your hair type, shampoo daily if you can. It's important that I have a shampoo that meets the needs of my hair and that changes depending on the weather or you know, now that my hair is longer, I have some additional hair care interests like shine as opposed to when it was shorter, I wanted more volume. Now that is why I adore Function of Beauty. Today's video is in partnership with Function of Beauty. You guys know I've been using their shampoo and conditioner for well over a year now. It's made a huge difference in my hair health and as well as the health of my scalp. And I like it because you can fully customize it to meet the needs of your individual hair type. It's really easy. All you have to do is go in and take a short quiz outlining your hair type and your specific hair goals. And then you can customize your shampoo and conditioner to be a certain color. I always choose dye free. Um, and then you can choose your scent and the strength of your scent. Personally, I prefer free of fragrance, so I don't get any scent, which is another thing I really love. It's very difficult to find fragrance-free hair care products that meet my specific hair care needs. Not only do I love their shampoo and conditioner, but the add-ons, the extras, are game changers in my hair care routine. For example, I just got a new tub of their hair mask. This deep conditioning mask is amazing. If you have long hair, I highly recommend it. And their hair serum, talk about shine. It really leaves the hair glossy and extra manageable. Love it. I know a lot of you have been tempted to try Function of Beauty and I'm so excited because they are now offering something totally new and that is a starter set. You can get um, a smaller size of their shampoo and conditioner uh, customized to your hair care needs for under $30. Yes, that's right, under $30. This little bottle will get you 40 washes. So that's less than a dollar per wash. Um, so click the link in my description box and you can get your starter set today. You just go ahead and fill out that quiz and get started for less than $30 plus free shipping. And if I didn't already mention, this is really one of the things I look forward to the most when I get my order is the stickers. You can put these on the bottles really liven them up, they're so cute. I love that little extra extra touch. If you wanna tweak your formula before getting the bigger bottles, you can do that. You can kind of get an idea of how it's gonna work for your hair um, and then tweak the formula. And thereafter, Function of Beauty will automatically send you full-size bottles um, of your formula every month to three months, depending on the frequency that you choose. So click the link in my description box to get started with Function of Beauty's starter set today for less than $30 plus free shipping. Thank you Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Speaking of shampoo, I hear this all the time. Uh, I get requests, please recommend shampoos for hair loss. There is no such thing as a shampoo that will grow your hair. It's simply not true. Um, the act of shampooing is really important for healthy hair growth. So if you are dealing with hair shedding or hair loss, make sure you are cleansing your scalp 
as frequently as your hair type will tolerate because as I said, that oily buildup can cause a lot of inflammation that ultimately leads to, you know, contributes to ongoing shedding and hair loss. However, there's no shampoo ingredient or category that directly will grow your hair. Some shampoos have ingredients like ketoconazole or zinc pyrithione, which calm down inflammation a little bit more, um, but they don't actually grow the hair. They're not gonna affect your hair cycle. Shampoos and conditioners, they don't grow hair. So there's no specific shampoo, and that's important because there are shampoos out there on the market that will that claim to be for hair loss, and that's not true. And shampoos that are marketed for people with thinning hair, a lot of times they have uh, peptides, proteins that glom onto the hair shaft and make it appear thicker, but they don't actually impact the rate of hair growth or the hair cycle. People dealing with hair loss, I mean, it is a vulnerable population and the hair care market really preys on, on you guys. So if you're dealing with hair loss, do not think that a shampoo or conditioner is gonna do the, the trick. Just know that consistent cleansing of the scalp is helpful for the health of your scalp and healthy hair growth, but you don't need a specific shampoo or conditioner to do that. Speaking of conditioner, another set of myths that I hear is related to dry hair. But one thing people don't actually realize is that moisture is actually not helpful for your hair and it makes it more brittle, more prone to breakage and frizzier. So attempting to increase the water content of your hair shafts actually is detrimental to your hair health journey. Um, it will lead to frizziness, make your hair unmanageable and make it more prone to breakage. Um, for example, I live in basically a fishbowl of humidity and uh, my hair, when the humidity is even higher than it is at baseline, my hair can be a lot more vulnerable to breakage because of all the moisture content, it makes it frizzy and unmanageable. This is why I often wear my hair up in that um, loose bun on the top of my head to keep my strands you know, away from all that moisture content of the atmosphere here. Um, so yeah, it's a myth that moisture is good for the hair. What you want if you have dry, brittle hair are hair care products that uh, are lubricating and help coat the hair and keep it smooth and keep it from absorbing too much moisture to make it brittle. Things like a deep conditioning mask, conditioners, these are really important. The ends of the hair, especially if you have long hair, the ends of the hair are really a lot more vulnerable to becoming brittle and dry. Don't think that just moisture is what you need. It's really conditioning. So always put your conditioner, make sure you direct, direct your shampoo to your scalp and your conditioner to the ends. That is, that is key for your hair care. Um, likewise, because moisture leaves the hair a lot more brittle, your hair is more prone to breakage and uh, damage when it's wet. So be very gentle with your hair when, after shampooing when it's wet. Um, don't uh, aggressively brush the hair um, because the hair, it's, it's basically swollen and a lot more, and a lot weaker at that point. So you wanna be really gentle with your strands when they are wet. Gently wring out excess water, use a, I recommend a um, absorbent hair towel, not just your regular bath towel. I'll link mine down below, the Acqui hair towel. Highly recommend it. Very absorbent and will help very efficiently remove excess water from the hair strands. And that's really helpful, especially if you have curly hair. Uh, this can really lead to a lot of problems if you are over hydrating your hair. And for people with textured hair, this is known as hygral fatigue. It really can influence the health of your hair. Now, coconut oil is an ingredient that you will find in many hair masks and deep conditioning products that can help reduce that hygral fatigue. You can certainly use uh, coconut oil on your own hair. I recommend doing that, for example, before getting into the shower, although beware, it does kind of make a mess in your shower. But if you just put a little bit of coconut oil on the ends of your hair before stepping into the shower, it can really help it 
um, in reducing that high growth fatigue from the moisture in the, in the shower. Speaking of the ends, this is the next myth that I hear. Uh, this is false. I haven't cut my hair in four years and it's down to it's down to my rear end now You guys it's gotten really long. I haven't cut my hair in like four years Haven't even had a trim um, I'm not saying that's right for everybody But the act of trimming your hair and trimming the ends does not affect the rate of hair growth Hair growth is in the follicle is from the follicle not from the ends if you check out my videos on hair loss and hair shedding you'll realize that hair loss is a complex thing. There are a lot of different types of hair loss, uh, but it starts, you know, it has to do with the health of the follicle, which is down in your scalp, not the ends. Um, so if you are dealing with hair loss or thinning hair, hair shedding, see your healthcare provider, get a diagnosis, and that way you can begin to address it. Trimming your hair is not going to be the answer. Now, if you have a lot of split ends, getting a trim, will remove those split ends and make your hair look a lot healthier, make it less vulnerable to breakage. But breakage is not the same as hair loss. Um, it's just a pain and it ultimately makes your hair look less healthy when you have a lot of breakage and damage to the ends. So yes, getting a trim definitely improves the look of your hair, makes it look a lot healthier. But trimming your hair does not prevent split ends. You could get a hair, you could get your hair trimmed and then a split end form, you know, one or two seconds later. It doesn't actually prevent them from forming. In order to minimize the formation of split ends, make sure you're using deep conditioning products, not over styling your hair with hot tools uh, that leave the hair vulnerable. Check out my video on tips for hair breakage, but that kind of feeds into the split ends thing. And the final myth, is that your hair gets used to the shampoo and conditioner that you use. That is not true either. Hair care products, shampoos and conditioners, they have ingredients in them that make them unique, the product overall unique in terms of yielding a specific outcome. Whether that be shine, those particular products may have a lot more silicones in them, which lubricate the hair strands and make it look shiny, glossy. They may also have different oils to help coat the hair and make it shinier and more manageable. You have volumizing shampoos, you have thickening shampoos, <clears throat> and you also have clarifying shampoos that help to remove buildup of products but your hair itself does not get used to any of those different types of shampoos. And if you have a shampoo that you like, keep using it. Um, shampoos, your, your hair doesn't get used to it. Now you may find that your hair needs change and that particular shampoo's function is no longer relevant. Again, this is why I like Function of Beauty so much because you can go in and you can customize your hair care products to meet those needs. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I used to have, when I started my channel, short hair. I wanted things that were more volumizing. Now that I have long hair, um, I want things that help with shine. So the, your hair care needs change. They'll change with your environment. Uh, like I said, I live in a very humid climate, but when I lived in Colorado, my hair was a lot more um, prone to static. So I wanted things that would help in terms of conditioning to uh, minimize that staticky charge on the hair. You don't necessarily need to swap out your products because your hair does not get used to the product, but your hair may change in what it needs, in which case that's when you wanna change out your product. So those are the five hair care myths that I hear repeated over and over again. Uh, share in the comments below, what have you heard that uh, you're not sure about? Is it true, is it false? Because I know you guys enjoy these myth busting videos, so maybe I'll do a part two. Uh, don't forget to check out Function of Beauty and use the link in my description box to take advantage of that new offer where you can get their starter set uh, to try it out. I think it's a great value, less than a dollar per shampoo, um, and you can try it out. And like I said, I, I adore it. It's my favorite and I've been using it for a long time now. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.